Welcome back to the first weekly vlog of 2023. But look, this was definitely an impulse purchase. It's good. Ah! <laughs> we booked New Zealand. I'm so excited. I did it. This is why I never get anything done. Absolute respect. I can't go on cruise boat anymore. I can't take myself seriously. Welcome to another day in my life. When it literally just flew into my hair. Oh, I do like bugs. But good morning, guys. Happy Monday, and welcome back to the first weekly vlog of 2023. I am so excited to be bringing you along for this week. It has been a hot minute since we've done a weekly vlog, but here we are. And I just have a feeling this week is going to be a fantastic week. It is 7 a.m. I'm just about to head off to the gym. I had a pretty busy weekend so I feel like I need to get myself sorted today and just like clear out my head because I'm feeling not overwhelmed but I just have a lot of tabs open in my brain. That's planned for today. I am also back at work this week so it's like my first week of working. It's only work from home so it's fine but I am excited to get back into somewhat of a normal routine or like my new normal routine because I want to make things a little bit different to the way that they were last year. Sorry, just trying to find some banging music to listen to on the way to the gym. This will do. Oh, and my camera battery is flashing. I forgot to charge it. I'm going to go to the gym and I'll charge you when I get home. <laughs> Welcome to another day in the life. I am home from the gym now. I'm actually running late because I've been home for a little bit just doing work on my computer. It's work from home today, but um, I have a physio appointment, which I'm very excited because this is the first day my physio has been back since Christmas. Oh, I forgot to charge my camera and I'm uploading stories. It's all, it's all just happening. But look, more packages, more damage that I've done. It's this mirror. Isn't she beautiful? Look at that. This was definitely an impulse purchase, but it was on sale and I couldn't not. I'm, I'm done with my shopping now, I promise. Today is Tuesday and I have a bit of work to do today but I just had a doctor's appointment so I went to that and went to the grocery store on the way home because I needed to pick up a few things. I realised yesterday it was just so chaotic but I think I was showing you like unboxing the mirror and then my camera died. I made an order on Target um, because I wanted to pick up these shoes. They didn't have my size in store so I just ordered them online. They're really nice, just like a basic sandal but a nice shoe to wear when I'm going out and I don't want to wear sneakers. Do not need the extra height, but I thought that these were really nice and they look really nice on. And then obviously I got the mirror, which I didn't realize was so big. I didn't read the product description when I bought it. And when it came, I was like, what is this massive thing? And I was like, oh my God, it's my mirror. So yeah, I just don't really know where to put it because I love it. I think it's gorgeous. I asked you guys on my Instagram and a few of you said to like take down these and put it here somewhere. Someone also said here as like a last minute outfit check as you're leaving, but it's too big for this wall and it's too big for this wall as well. And I don't want to put it above my bed. Like it would look really cute there, but I would be way too scared that it would just drop in the middle of the night onto my head because it's pretty heavy. I could put it here somewhere, like take down that painting and put it on that wall. So either there or there, that's what I'm debating. But I'm also debating whether I redo my bedroom because I just like fresh energy and I've been thinking about moving my furniture for a long time. Don't know how I feel about that. But that's the mirror there. Just for reference, that's how long it is. But look how nicely it looks with like the quilt covers and the tones in this room. I really like it. Yeah, not sure where I'm going to put that. It's so warm at the moment. Whilst this bottle size is obnoxious, it comes in handy. I only have to refill it once a day. So good. Anyway, I had a doctor's appointment because it turns out all of the rough texture on my skin is actually acne, which 
I've never had before. I've never really had any skin concerns. I've been really, really lucky to get to 23 and not have any real issues, but it like flares up and I just wasn't sure what was happening. Like I didn't know if I was using something that I shouldn't or whatever. So I went to my doctor. I've shown him before, but he had a look and he was like, yeah, that's definitely acne because it's down my arms as well like you guys probably can't see but it goes down here so i've got this gel that i need to use on it well it says at the grocery store i got food but these are the non-food items i got this tony and guy toning mask um i use this shampoo if you're ever wondering how i keep my blonde looking fresh this stuff is so good this like line i've never used this product before but yeah, the shampoo, chef's kiss. I've got some shaving products too, which is so random. I needed some new razors and I needed some bobby pins. I have like had one bobby pin, like I kid you not, one individual bobby pin that I've been holding on to for over a year. And I was like, you know what? It's 2023, it's time to get a pack of bobby pins anyway i'm gonna log on to work now and work for a couple of hours i have a naturopath appointment this afternoon and then i'm going to shona's and we're actually booking our new zealand flights which is exciting it's just easier to do it like when we're together but yeah that's my day today good morning it's wednesday it is wednesday my dudes and we are going to the gym it is upper body day today where's the nozzle we're good to go. I forgot to tell you guys. We have exciting news. We booked New Zealand. I'm so excited. We booked a flight and accommodation yesterday afternoon. After my acupuncture appointment, I went to my friend Shona's house. But yeah, going to New Zealand in the middle of the year, which is so exciting. I can't wait. to Pilates. Pilates is back for the year which is very exciting but I thought I'd just go for a run see what I can do. Um, I went for a run. I forget what day this week. Tuesday maybe. And I'm just kind of seeing how my knee goes after last week. Yeah I didn't really talk to you guys yesterday. I just worked most of the day and it was a little bit boring. I did actually run off to the shops. I went to Kathmandu because they were having a sale and I've been meaning to get like a, a staple puffer like one that is just going to last a long time suited for New Zealand suited for Europe in winter I managed to pick one up it's got like all the insulation and stuff but it's really light and packable so you can like wrap it up into the hood and it's really light to pack compared to the other ones. I forget what it's called. You can wash this one and you don't have to worry about like fluffing it out kind of thing. I'm very excited about this. I realized I was worried about spending the money on like an expensive puffer. But then I realized both of my holidays will be in winter. So it's more of an investment. Can you guys see? It's like long and it's got this thing where you can like pull it in a little bit more shape. Can you see that? I did it. <laughs> but I just figured in New Zealand, we're going to probably be walking down to dinner and I'm gonna need to layer. Obviously it's gonna be the middle of winter. It's gonna be snowy and I just needed a good quality puffer. So very excited about that. But yeah, I need to head off on my run so I can make it to Pilates on time. I have a half day of work today. Yeah, we'll see what we get up to. I thought I would show you guys my lunch that I've been having this week. It is so yum. It's basically a roast veg salad. So I've got spinach, um, roast veg, I've got sweet potato, beetroot and regular potato. And then I've got falafels, goat's cheese and this like green dressing that you can get from Woolies. Um, but you can just use literally whatever dressing you like. And I've got some avocado in there and it is so yum. Look at that, stunning. Good evening. I got so distracted. I finished my work. This is why I never get anything done because I just get distracted on silly things like this. Let me take these glasses off, I was just having fun. When I had coffee with my grandma this morning, I was telling her about how we booked our ski trip the other day and um, my granddad and my dad, my granddad's now passed away, but um, he used to go skiing 
with my grandma and used to go skiing with my dad all the time like every single year they would go skiing it's like a little bit of a tradition and my grandma was telling me she still has my granddad's ski jacket like a really good ski jacket because they obviously went so often they had really good quality stuff and um yeah my grandma was like next time you come over remind me and i'll get out the jacket because i think one of my other cousins went to the snow like a year or two ago and tried it on and it was too big for her yeah my grandma was like you should try it and then i came home and i was like dad do you still have your skiing stuff anyway i found it myself <laughs> it's like big but i think it's gonna do the job when I'm on the slopes, do you know what I mean? And like, if I can save money having to buy stuff, that is a win for me. But like, this is like a proper, good quality. It's like old school. Does this brand exist anymore? I don't know. But like, oh, it's got a hood. <laughs> I can't take myself seriously. We've got a jacket, very cute. I can picture myself having a, a wine post ski. What do we think? I kind of love it, but it's going to do the job, isn't it? I'm going to have to wear this on the plane. This is going to be so heavy. Whoa, whoa. Oh, it's so hot in here. I do have pants on underneath this, but these are my dad's ski pants. What? I mean, they do the job. My winter 2023 look. And I found this headband. I bought it, I want to say like six years ago. Um, and it's like a ski headband. I've never been skiing in my life. I have no idea why I bought it. I can use it on this trip to keep my little ears warm. I mean, I'd probably wear a beanie, but I'm so excited. Let me see what else I can find. He must have his other stuff in here. Just raiding my dad's wardrobe. Would also just like to mention it's like 30 something degrees today. And I'm wearing a ski jacket. Oh my God, what is in here? We found a beanie. I feel bad vlogging in here because this is my parents' wardrobe. And God, he has so many beanies. I mean, he went skiing every year. <laughs> Ew, they feel so gross. I'm trying that on. Oh, all this stuff we're finding. Oh my God, there's matching gloves. Hang on, let's do a haul. <laughs> I'm wasting so much valuable time. I feel like I'm thrifting. There's matching snow gloves. Oh, they're very dusty. <laughs> No way. Oh my god, I'm fully decked out. I also found this brown one, which is really cute because I bought a brown scarf. This is so cool. Oh my god, it was so hot in there. Like, I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm like proper dripping in sweat. Like, that is that is an intense jacket. My dad used to take this on ski trips too. Oh my god, it's so prickly. I've seen photos of my dad in this. Oh my god. I can't take myself seriously. Like, look at this. What do we think? I just went and showed my dad all the amazing things I found. And this, like the dirtiest sweater. And apparently this is the last triathlon my dad did when he was a fit king. Australian long course championship. Get it? I'm gonna wash that. Anyway, we've got some keepers. Friday today. I've just arrived at the dentist. I had a half day today and I've been meaning to make a dentist appointment for a couple of weeks. I finally did it. I absolutely hate the dentist. I don't know if there's many people that enjoy the dentist. It's one of the jobs that was on my like crappy job list. <laughs> I was like, Georgia, you need to go and book in for your dentist appointment. I'll be very proud of myself and this is over. But also this dentist is like so far away from where I live. The only reason I come here is because my granddad goes here. I don't like trying new dentists. Like, mm. I'm gonna go and get my teeth checked. My little six monthly appointment. Fingers crossed there's no issues. And I'll probably talk to you later. I'm gonna head home and have lunch and then the girls and I are going to a psychic. Um, so random, but I'll talk to you about that later. Good morning. It's Saturday today. It is 5.20 on a Saturday. You did hear correct. I'm going to F45 this morning. Um, my beautiful friend Sarah and her partner Ricky own an F45 studio and I'm like so freaking proud of her. Very, very proud friend moment. They're having their relaunch day today so I'm gonna go and work out at 7 a.m. I'm having my coffee first to give me a little bit of energy. I'm actually not feeling too bad. Also, sorry about my voice. I obviously haven't spoken to anyone today. Also, I have pimple cream on. It's literally stinging my face. So I have like a cold pack to help. I don't know whether these pimples, see how there's that scar? I don't know whether they're like a, a part of this acne because I don't normally get pimples that 
like quickly. I don't know, my skin's really playing off at the moment, but it honestly could be a lot worse. And it doesn't even like look bad. So yeah, we're going to the 7 a.m. class. Um, I invited my friend Lisa. Um, so she's gonna come and train with me. I'm really excited to go and support Sezi. I've also never done F45 before. So when Sarah was like, oh, you bought a studio. I was like, mm. I'm a bit scared to go for the first time. And after this first class, I'm glad I have Lisa here with me because doing it by myself seems so much scarier. <laughs> and I also need to debrief you on yesterday because the girls and I went to a, a psychic slash medium it was pretty cool i still need to debrief with myself about the psychic but i might do that when i've got a little bit more time so i can like sit down and like talk through things <laughs> so sick of making up to make the same mistake you give the love you want but one you cannot take We've just finished a very sweaty F45 session at Cooperoo. How'd you find it, Lisa? So good, but it was <laughs> so, so good. So hectic. Hectic, yeah. I feel absolutely wrecked. But it's kind mm. of nice at the end of the week, like you get out all the last bit of yeah. energy. You do feel really good after doing something very hectic. Like, and I think later today you're like, oh yeah, I'm really glad I did that. Yeah. I feel good. I know. I'll be proud. I'll of wait myself. for that moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it did feel good, but very tough. Very tough. F45 is no joke, okay? No, it was intense. Like, props to any of you that do it daily. Kudos to you. I have absolute respect. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because that was hard. Yeah. I exercise every day, and so I was like, yeah, yeah. I was like, six round, and I was like, time, yeah. oh, oh I'm, I'm still tracking. Oh, my God. 678 calories. Oh, that's, that's good. Wow. <laughs> I'm so sweaty. My screen went foggy. <laughs> anyway, we got our coffees they're christmas straws oh that's cute then <laughs> pink rocky road ice lattes but it's like a frappe yeah like with coffee like in it frothy on top as well yeah it's very good it's good we earned this i need it i'll have the f45 cooper handle down below if you are looking for a gym and you're on this side of brisbane my beautiful friend says and her partner ricky own this studio and they're incredible like some of the nicest people I have ever met they're so passionate and good at what they do all the trainers here are awesome like the vibe in there was they so had good. good energy yeah. good energy happy Saturday everyone it is Saturday afternoon and I just sat down to edit a little bit of vlog that you've been watching and I realized that I haven't sat down properly to talk to you about the psychic. We went out for dinner with the girls last night after the psychic. Yesterday I just really got away from me. I thought that I would share my experience because I have never done something like that before. Look, I kind of took it half-heartedly, wasn't really sure what to expect, but I had a really good experience. Oh sorry, I've got pimple cream on. My hair has just been washed. I'm in a very bare state. Please accept. I made some notes on my phone when I came out just so that I didn't remember. I'm not going to tell you everything just because some of them were a little bit personal. I just don't feel it's necessary. But in terms of like my first experience going to a psychic, it was very good. I'll try and remember to leave her name in the description if you're in Brisbane um, and you are up for a drive to the south side. One of like the craziest things that she got, she is a medium. Um, and she just kind of tells you what comes to her. And she brought up, she's like, oh, I'm just getting like diabetes. Anyway, she was like, your dad's dad. And I was like, yeah. And he has passed away. And she's like, he's no longer here, is he? And I was like, no. Yeah. And she's like, and I'm getting, I'm getting a boat, a lime green boat. And I was like, how? I was really spooked. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. My granddad had this like really lime green boat. Like it's a distinct green. I have never seen a green boat. Anytime we've been on the water or whatever, I've just never seen anyone with a green boat. So I thought that that was really bizarre. Yeah, I don't know. I can't really explain it. But if you're skeptical, move along. I could kind of like, she said, can you feel him? And throughout the session, this was like 20 minutes in. And I felt like it was the weirdest experience. Like... I don't know, it's not a normal sensation I could feel on my hand. It was like warmth and tingling, but it wasn't like something I felt before or wasn't something that you could explain. Like, oh, it was like pins and needles. It was such a weird feeling in the palm of my hand and I felt it the whole time because you're sitting there with your hand out like this. And I just, I don't know, I just like got a little bit spooked. And so funny, she was like straight away, she was like, oh, you've got restless legs and like that like, falls into your life as well like you get really bored of being in the same place you really don't want to be here and I was like yuck yeah she was like oh she said I see I see you moving you want to move south 
you want to you want to move to the coast and I was like yeah and she's like yeah and she's like I see that happening later in the year for you yeah and just so interesting and she's like I see a graduation hat she didn't even know my name she had to ask for my first name like when I went in there and she brought up yeah the graduation hat she's like I see that at the end of the year lots of celebrating and I just sat there like saying yes or like yeah pretty much the whole time she did most of the talking she spoke about living at the beach and I'm gonna like hold myself back and I'm a bit worried to go out on my own but it's what I need to do and yeah things will fall into place when I'm there told me beware of the boat too and she's like question whether you need to get on the boat it's not a cruise boat she said it's like some sort of personal boat but she's like if there's a boat just be careful concerned because when we organized our New Zealand trip we were talking about going on a cruise boat and I was like can't go on the cruise boat anymore like what's gonna happen on the boat and is the thing that's gonna happen on the boat gonna happen anyway as I said taking everything lightly and like not going to let it dictate my life it was just an experience for a bit of enjoyment and interest I guess she told me February and July are gonna be really good months for me July is gonna be a really joyous month she said that was a specific word along with August um, August is gonna be really good and then November December which is interesting um, and she also brought up like the holiday she was like oh I, I see snow in July but really interesting like the stuff she said a little bit more personal about like relationships and ex-partners and my grandparents I was just like that's so strange but it was a great experience and I would really recommend going with your girlfriends because it was like a fun little afternoon out and then we went and had dinner and like debriefed and chatted and whatnot and it was really really fun really wholesome night but yeah if you've ever thought of going to a psychic and you're in brisbane um would recommend her i've only been to her so i can't really judge anyone else but <laughs> just in case you're curious